a Spano Suiza license belt, and then to get the rest of it into production. This is an original aircraft. sound comes from a 275 horsepower Rolls-Royce Falcon 3 engine. It's a V12 and very much a forerunner of the highest successful range of Rolls-Royce engines named after various birds. The engine size was later increased up to 375 horsepower and they were exceptionally effective aircraft. Not only was uh, there one, a spe spectacular leading ace, Andrew McKeever, who with his gunner, Flight Sergeant Powell, shot down over 30 aircraft in a very short space of time. There were a number of rear gunners who were awarded DCMs for shooting down 10, 15, and sometimes 20 enemy aircraft on their own. And their range and speed also gave them the to introduce a new facet into warfare. As I said, pilots actually loved being able to throw the plane around the skies. There was a, a Lewis gun mounted on a scarf ring in the rear cockpit and a forward uh, firing uh, Vickers machine gun, uh, synchronised to fire through the uh, propeller. Rolls-Royce Falcon Mark III V12 engine. Uh, giving uh, 275 horsepower and uh, a climb to 10,000 feet in about 11 and a half uh, minutes. Service ceiling up around about sort of 18, 19,000 foot mark. Although the engine was prone to uh, oil feed problems, uh, I think, because of uh, low temperatures and altitude, that was something that they had to work on. And Lieutenant Morgan built a two seater in February 1918 to enable conversion onto the camel in much safer circumstances. It's one of the features of the, uh, the First World War to bear in mind that uh, something like half of the Royal Flying Corps casualties were actually incurred in training, about 8,000 out of the 16,000. So, flying training was a much more hit and miss affair in those days. And, uh, young pilots had to work extremely hard to become proficient. The third aircraft that's joined it is effectively the, the Spitfire of the First World War, it's the SE-5A. And what a sight. Thank you. 
many, many years before. That's how authentic uh, the reproductions of the uh, vintage egg aviator are, are producing. Actually are.